Hey guys, uh, welcome back. One more time here uh, from Bonita Springs YMCA. Uh, I've got uh, Chad and Eddie here with me. And this video is going to be about uh, three of my favorite drills. Um, I'm a creature of habit. Uh, I am uh, never satisfied with my technique or how many repetitions of something I can get. Uh, so some of the drills, uh, they might be boring to you, but I find a lot of enjoyment. Uh, a lot of the times is because I don't stop doing something until I feel really good about it. So the first one is thinking cross court. I love to think cross court, but a lot of the times what I'm thinking is lots of footwork. Uh, I am working on uh, my body movement and I'm working on my control and I'm working on where I'm hitting the ball. Uh, my focus here when I go cross court with Chad is that I'm not going to miss, that I am going to be, uh, I'm looking for perfection. I know it's hard, but I am trying to be as perfect as I can with my dinks. Uh, sometimes, of course, that is impossible, but guess what? That is my goal and that's what I'm hoping I can ac accomplish. So here we go. So when I'm going cross court, I'm really looking to get over. If I can take the ball out of the air, there you go. If I can take the ball out of the air, I will. Nice. There you go. And I'm looking to lean on a lot of these. I'm trying to lean my body forward. All right, Eddie, let's see it. Yeah, let's see it. Good. Again, no pressure. Just a hundred in a row here. Nice, good, come on. Uh-oh, missed it. So when I'm thinking about this drill, like just really hitting the spots, making sure I'm recovering, not just standing. There you go. Good. Go. Ah, got him. Let's go. I held my breath the whole time. <laughs> well, that's one thing. Always remember to breathe. But again, I can do this forever. I love doing cross court dinks, just really working on my footwork. Then I do the same thing on the backhand side. And really remember, no stationary, you don't stay in the corner. Come back and recover. There you go. <laughs> so anyways, a lot of the times, again, that I would continue on doing, I don't know, 10 minutes probably on each side uh, when I'm warming up, just playing. Uh, and then a lot of the times I'll build that into anything that I can attack, I will. So this is kind of like now testing it out. So anything that I can attack, I will attack. And I'm trying to get that ball lean into it and get that ball to go down to his feet not just into his body, okay? That would be my first number one, always my warm up. I'll always start with that. Uh, then the next part is, okay, so part number two uh, is that I start to transition. And usually on that, we go here. And I love warming up here. And he's gonna vary the balls that he gives me. All I'm working on, again, is getting that ball to land into the kitchen. I'm taking the pace off, that's it. The last pace he gives me, the more I need to push. So if he gives me off pace ball, I need to then push the ball forward more. If he gives me more pace, then I don't. There you go. Coming. I like to do a mini split every time. 
and I don't play out balls, by the way. <laughs> I try not to hit out balls just because it's a habit that you develop. Here you go. So the next part is, is that when I'm comfortable, I feel really good about my transition shots, uh, hard, soft, whichever way it comes, then I try to get myself in trouble on purpose so I can play a little defense. And that's much harder because now he should be on offense, I'm on defense. There you go. And my goal in here, when I'm doing this, what I'm really looking to do, as you can see on my stance, uh, I tend to stay lower. I like my base a little wider. I'm doing my mini split step, but I'm trying to catch that ball out in front of me versus standing up. That's what I see a lot of my clients. That's the thing that we work on the most is when they are in the transition area as they're moving in, they're standing up. And then the tendency is that the ball tends to then come at their feet and then they have to go from up here to down to their feet. So I'm more in a squat position, kind of light on my feet, getting ready to hit that ball out in front of me and then continue to move forward, okay? So that would be my second favorite drill, working on that transition area. Then the third thing that I like to do is skinny singles. Uh, I play skinny singles as a practice all the time. Once I get through warming up, uh, I will go straight to skinny singles and this is what how we do it. So it starts zero zero. So again, this first point, because I won, we play diagonal, so now it will be one zero, and now we play straight ahead. Yes. <laughs> so it'll be two zero. Oh my gosh. All right, three zero. Oh, that's a body bag. I had to. <laughs> so the key here is that I am working on getting in, but again, I'm hitting good shots before I get in. I'm not just popping the ball up and running in. Uh, I'm taking calculated risk when I, I'm working on it. My goal here is to win the point always is. I'm not just, you know, just playing the point to play the point. I am working on certain spots of the court and I am trying to be aggressive every opportunity I get. Uh, and that's kind of usually how I run through a, like a doubles drill day for me. That's what it looks like. So I hope you enjoy it. And again, don't forget to smash body bag that subscribe button. <laughs>